Doc Denver, man of news here. The book of Proverbs is about wisdom. What else should we know about Proverbs? The book of Proverbs in the Bible is dedicated to King Solomon, who was famous for his wisdom. Right, he's the king that asked God for wisdom, and God gave him a bundle. That's right. The book of 1 Kings says Solomon's wisdom surpassed the wisdom of all the other ancient people. It says he wrote more than a thousand songs and 3,000 proverbs. Wow, are they all in the book of Proverbs? Not all 3,000, but more than 500 of Solomon's sayings are recorded in the book. People love reading the book of Proverbs because of all the wise, simple sayings. People also like reading it because all those great sayings are organized in the 31 chapters, one to read each day of the month. What about February? There are only 28 days in February. I suppose the last three chapters get skipped in February. That hardly seems fair, skipping the last three chapters. That would make me pretty sad if I was chapter 29. All right, read four chapters on February 28th. That's a good idea. Chapter 29 says thank you. Is there anything else we need to know about Proverbs? Yep. Proverbs say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Respecting God's holiness is how we begin to be wise. The wisdom in the Bible brings order. It makes our lives work. Foolishness brings disorder. Nothing goes well when we ignore God's wisdom. And there's one more thing, a very important point. Proverbs are principles, not promises. I don't even know what that means. Let's take Benjamin Franklin's famous proverb, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Is he saying every single person who goes to bed early and gets up early to go to work will have a successful business and will never get sick? No, I don't think he's saying that at all. He's saying you're more likely to be healthy and successful if you get enough sleep and work hard. Exactly, and Solomon's Proverbs work the same way. Can you give us an example? Sure can. Proverbs 10 verse 27 says, The fear of the Lord prolongs life, but the years of the wicked will be short. Fear of the Lord means respecting God's holiness and taking his laws seriously. So it's saying if you follow God's laws, you'll have a longer life, and if you don't, you'll have a shorter life? But I've heard of people who loved God but died when they were young, and other people who did terrible things and lived a long, long time. Exactly, because Proverbs 10.27 isn't a promise, it's a proverb. If you follow God's wisdom, you're more likely to have a longer, happier life. If you ignore God's wisdom, if you act foolishly, you're more likely to get into trouble, and you could even have a shorter life. It's a principle, not a promise. Is this why it's so important to know what kind of writing we're reading in the Bible? You got it, Clive. When we read historical writing, like the story of Moses parting the Red Sea, we know the author is saying, this really happened. There really was a guy named Moses, and this body of water really did split in two. But poetry is different. When the psalm says that God will cover Israel with his feathers, it's not saying that God had feathers or that Israel was going to wake up some morning buried in feathers. What it's really saying is God will protect Israel just like a mother hen protects her chicks. It's poetry. And when we read the book of Proverbs, we know the author is teaching us principles, not making us promises. The Bible is a lot less confusing when we know about the different types of writing. Let me see if I've got this straight. Well, the proverb is a saying that can help us live our lives by telling what is foolish and what's considered wise. When life has you befuddled, just open up your eyes, cause proverbs is the book you ought to read. Now they may not be promises, but man, these words are true. These principles will help you know just what to say and do. King Solomon, yeah, he's the one who wrote them down for you. If what you want is wisdom in every word and deed, then Proverbs is the book you ought to read. Yeah, Proverbs is the book you ought to read. Oh, yeah.